Hi guys, I'm back. I wanted to make a quick video. Um, these are the Wet n Wild Color Icon palettes, and they've been out for a long time, but I wanted to record a video about them because it has been driving me crazy that nobody <laughs> appreciates the fact that these are five bucks and they are total complete dupes for MAC eyeshadows. Now, the thing is, they're not gonna be as good as MAC eyeshadows. I'm not saying that they're better, I'm not saying that they're worse, I'm just saying that they're pretty stinking similar. And for those of you that can't maybe afford one MAC eyeshadow that's $14.50, maybe you can afford one color icon palette that's $5 and you get the same color payoff, the same um, or close to the same color and it's $5. So I wanted to make this video and list all of the dupes, the MAC dupes in these color icon palettes. Um, these are really great. I, uh, I, I wrote in my blog about them. You know, I used to think Wet n Wild was kind of play makeup. <laughs> it was the stuff I bought when I was younger because it was cheap and you could just play with it. And um, that's not the case anymore. These are awesome. So if you get a chance to go pick up any, I would suggest go do it because it's totally worth it. Um, I'll just start with the, I believe this is the Lust palette. They're all named after the Seven Deadly Sins. There are only four total. And of course I have all four because you know me. But yeah, this is the Lust palette. Um, and every color in here is a dupe for a matte color. Oh, why did I close that? Sorry. This is the problem in my makeup storage video because it's so hard <laughs> to open things with one hand. Okay. We'll get to the others later. So this is the... Lust palette. Starting off with the top right, no, top left. This is a dupe for, this is an exact dupe for Max Yogurt eyeshadow. This is a dupe, a very good dupe for, can you see the glitter in it? Oh, I hope my camera picks it up. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love that color. It's a very good dupe for fairly light pigment, or I would even say vanilla eyeshadow. It's really close to that, those two. Um, I don't have either, I actually do have yogurt. Dang it, I didn't bring it in here though. Um, but yeah, that's a really good dupe for vanilla. Um, down here, this purple, this is a dupe for Max Fig One. This is a dupe for Beauty Mart. That's a, such a close dupe, I mean, same color payoff. I mean, it looks same in the pan. It is crazy how closely that resembles Beauty Mart. Um, this is a dupe for Shadowy Lady from the, I believe it was, what was it? Cult of Cherry? I don't know. When Shadowy Lady and Deep Truth and all those came out. Um, but I think it's part of the permanent collection now. But this is a dupe for Shadowy Lady. And then this is a dupe for Night Divine. So, in that palette, you have six MAC dupes. So, think about it. Each one of those eyeshadows for MAC is $14.50, but this whole palette is only $5. So, this is why I want to make this video. A lot of people give those uh, beauty gurus a lot of crap about using higher-end products and how they can't afford them. Well, this is a great way to try out similar colors to the higher-end palettes, only for a lot less money. So, that is the Lust palette. Now let's do the Greed palette. Greed! I sound like a little kindergarten teacher. Greed, now let's do this. Okay, <clears throat> um, I have it all on my phone, sorry. I have to look it up. Okay, so this first color, oh, this color, it is a, and I hope my my lighting isn't like distorting the colors. I think it's pretty true. Um, this is a dupe for Max Bisque. This is a dupe for Max Paradisco or, um, yeah, Paradisco. I think Paradisco might have a little bit more shimmer in it, but it's pretty close. Um, this is a completely matte color though. This is a dupe for Max Carbon. I actually have Carbon. This is in the holiday set. Oops, I guess, there it is, okay. There is, let me open this. 
There's the MAC color. Where's my finger? There's the MAC color. There's the Wet n Wild color. Uh, pretty stinking close if you ask me. Let me swatch them for you. Sorry, excuse my nails. So, actually, the Wet n Wild one paid off a little bit better. But, pretty close if you ask me. Sorry, excuse my dirty counter. Is it going to focus? See? Pretty close. Good enough for me. So, there's Matt Carbon. There is Wet n Wild, the black. Um, on this side, we have, that top one actually isn't a dupe for any matte color. Um, it's a really unique color and I love it so much. I hope that the camera picks up the coloring in this. I don't know if you guys can see it. It has kind of a, gosh, I suck at this. Um, kind of a bluish, oh, I don't know, it's beautiful. It has like a bluish undertone, but the color payoff is terrible. Like seriously, look, I just rubbed my finger really hard on that. I mean, if you want a light, sort of wash of color, then it's good, but, you know, I wanted, I wanted it to be that dark on my lid, and it's not. Um, so that one, that one doesn't have a MAC dupe, but the one underneath is a very good dupe for MAC's, now my lighting's freaking out, um, MAC's All the Glitters, and then this one is a dupe for, they say online that it's a dupe for typographic, but I would say it's more like Black Tide. Um, that's just my opinion. I don't have either of those colors, but that's just, mm, I mean, because typographic doesn't really have a whole lot of shimmer, and this has pretty good shimmer pay payoff. So, look at that. You guys, these colors are awesome. I mean, you just have to barely touch them, and you get so much pigmentation. It is amazing. For Wet n Wild, I am impressed. So that is the Greed palette. Greed. Now let's do the Vanity Palette. All right, so the first color is another dupe, they say, for vanilla, which I don't think. I don't think so at all. That is pretty matte. This one in the Lust Palette is a closer dupe because the vanilla eyeshadow actually has some shimmer in it like that. I mean, not a lot. There's a vanilla pigment, and then there's a vanilla eyeshadow, and the pigment is a lot, has a lot more shimmer than the eyeshadow, so that is a little bit closer to the eyeshadow. Um, this, I don't, I don't think that's close to um, vanilla at all. I would say that's a little bit closer to yogurt, only a little bit lighter. Um, but anyway, still pretty close. Good neutral color. The next one is an exact dupe for nylon. After that, this is a good dupe for, where am I? This is a good dupe for cork, which, mm, cork has a little bit of shimmer, I think, or soft brown, and I actually have soft brown. So, let me show you. There's soft brown, and there is, and there isn't any, I don't know why there's shimmer, and I think that that's from my brush the last time I used this color, but, um, this is soft brown, and then there is the wet and wild color. And if you ask me, those are pretty stinking similar. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's a good dupe for soft brown. This is a good dupe for Fole. Fol I don't know how to say it. F-O-L-I-E. Um, this is a dupe for MAC Bronze. And then this, actually, I don't think has a dupe. Um, yeah. Oh. Actually, you know what? I saw a video where they said that it was a dupe for Flip, which was part of the Color Forecast collection, so it was limited edition. But it's a dupe for it, so if you want a kind of um, very yellow-based, um, shimmery, goldish color, then there you go. That is the Vanity Palette. Beautiful colors. Love it. All right, now to the last one, which is probably my favorite one. I love this one so much. I did a photo shoot um, using this exact palette, and the colors turned out beautifully on the photo shoot. Photographed beautifully, didn't reflect, showed up great. 
it was awesome. So I'm just saying these are just as good as the higher end products. Um, all right, so at the top, let me see, where are we? Okay, this is the Pride palette, by the way. I don't know if I said that, Pride. Okay, so this top color is Gesso, which is just a very pigmented, very strong matte white. Um, this is kind of a dupe for, oh my gosh, seriously, um, if it'll focus, for Crystal Avalanche. Um, not, not quite. I mean, it's a little bit, it's a little bit chalky and the color payout isn't as great as Crystal Avalanche, but it's pretty close. Um, this is a dupe for Newly Minted, exact dupe. Color payout's awesome. That's one of the colors I used for the photos. Um, this is an exact dupe for Steamy. This is an exact dupe for Nehru. And this is an exact dupe for Deep Truth. And I have Steamy, so let me show you next to one another. Pretty close, guys. This is awesome. Sorry, the light's hitting steamy, all weird. But yeah. So, color path's the same, exact same color. It is awesome. So, those are the four color icon palettes, and I think that I was watching Emily Noel, and she said that they have some new palettes out now, which I'm really excited about, and you get eight colors instead of six. Um, so hopefully maybe there'll be some MAC dupes in those. If there are, I'll make a video about it. Um, I hope this helps you out. I hope that you're able to get some of these and kind of try out um, how, the, how they're similar to the MAC products. Um, oh, what was I going to say? I don't know. They're just awesome, so get them. These are the actually I was going to show you since I have them. These are the four holiday palettes that were released around Christmas. Um, this one is, what is this one called? Oh, it's not on the front. Oh. This one is called, it doesn't say, that's lame. I know that this one's Night Elf and this one is Sugar Plum Fairy. And then this one's like Golden Goddess or something like that. And I think that this is like Snow Sprite. I think that's what it seems like. Um, and I don't know of any um, matte dupes for any of these. I do know that this one in the Night Elf palette is pretty stinking similar to Max Club. This is Max Club. That is the color icon. And they're pretty freaking similar. I'll swatch it for you. Here's Club. It has a beautiful brown base with a blue-green duochrome. And there is the Wet n Wild one. The Max Club is a little bit darker. It has more of a brown base. And I would say that the Wet n Wild one has more of a red base. But still pretty close. I love them both. Um, and I would say that's a pretty good dude for Black Tide. But that's similar to the one that's in the, um, the Greed palette. So um, if I hear of any dupes for these holiday palettes, then I'll let you guys know. Um, they're all awesome, so be sure and check them out, and I hope that this was helpful. All right, talk to you later. Bye.